This house has witnessed many remarkable things, but... But this... Your friend couldn't look more like Emily if she had been designed that way. Currently, the only resemblance between Rebecca and Emily is skin deep. Now, this one is crude. Emily, at least, had a modicum of good breeding, but this one is foolishly antagonistic. Oh. Hey, you, don't just walk away. And don't talk about me like I'm not in the room. Even better, don't talk about me at all since you don't know the first thing about me. Rebecca. No, I don't care. I'm not going to be cowed by this woman. I mean, I realize that she's your little grandmother and this is your house, but where does she get off insulting me? You can't possibly be this obtuse. Do you honestly think that a woman with your lack of style in class could interest my grandson? If you weren't a carbon copy of his dead fiance, and if not for that unfortunate coincidence, the only way you would be in this house is if you were hired on as kitchen help. <gasps> it must be snowing in hell. For once, Helena and I agree. It's been so long. Not long enough. Natasha, I thought it's her name was a Alexis. a long story. Of which our family has many. Unfortunately, the happy ending proves elusive. I didn't want you to be alone for phase two of whatever she's contemplating. Okay, maybe I'm not in the room. Oh, you most certainly are, and your timing is fascinating. Nicholas gets threatened publicly by a psychotic relative, and instead of a normal person who would run for their lives in another direction, you are right here by his side. Maybe my invisibility has affected my hearing. I missed the part where you got so mad at me. Oh, don't take it personally, my dear. Alexis is mad at the world, perpetually ill-tempered, a most disagreeable child. Actually, she's kind of right about that. I don't buy your act, and you're about as subtle as a freight train. Right, look, if, if we're all done sniping at each other, just tell me what I have to do to send you back where you came from. You have something of mine. It's locked in a vault at a local bank. I, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. You're not supposed to. The more confusing, the better. It's a painting. A what? It's, so this whole thing, yeah, whatever, a painting of, of what, of who? out of hiding and made that over-the-top entrance just for a painting? Well, it has sentimental value. What painting is it? It's an icon portrait of Saint Gregory. It's important to her because she's very, very religious. Don't give it to her. Oh, Alexis, another of your many flaws. No generosity of spirit. Why that painting? Oh, Nicholas, can't I have my secrets? No. You can't, not while you're standing here in my home, wanting something from me. Very well. The artist painted it for me. I have such fond memories of watching him apply the gold leaf, stark naked, illuminated by a blinding shaft of sunlight in my sitting room. Do you want me to continue? No. I don't. You know, I could have, have stolen the painting, but I came here and I asked for it nicely. But know this, I intend to have my property. And until I do, my darling, your ships will sink in the harbor, your trucks will crash, and your business deals will fall apart before your eyes. Now, why not avoid all of this suffering for your hapless employees? Give me what I want. This isn't just about art or artist appreciation. There's always an agenda with her. We just have to figure out what it is. And you don't want to tangle with me, Alexis. Unlike Nicholas, I do not have a soft spot in my heart for you. On the contrary, it would give me great pleasure to silence you for good. I'll give you the painting. I knew you'd see reason. Reason? You just threatened to destroy Nicholas's business. And how does that concern you, my dear? Well, if you've really got to know, he's my friend. 
And I don't appreciate watching you trying to intimidate him. You would be well advised to speak when spoken to. Say the wrong thing and someone might be inspired to cut out your tongue. I'd like to see you try. Really? You don't need to threaten her. I already told you I'd give you the painting. I just need a few days to find the paperwork to the safety deposit box. <laughs> don't dawdle. Who knows what trouble I could get up to with too much time on my hands. I'm sure our paths will cross again. Alexis, try some collagen. You're not aging well. Nicholas, your mother seems to be doing quite well at her clinic in France. What a horror show. Oh. Well done. You're almost as accomplished as she is. Meaning? You're Helena's plant. <laughs>